Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do the follow-up video on the felony and we are going to bind the receiver and calibrate it. We are going to calibrate the ESC. We're gonna set up the handbrake and we are going to set up also the telemetry. I really don't wanna make this a very long video so you guys don't get bored and watch a very long, long, long video. So with that said, uh, some things are already took care of, like uh, I already connected the handbrake to uh, channel three and I already took out the screws from the receiver box. So it makes it a lot easier to, uh, to work and a lot faster. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a new vehicle uh, on the remote. So let's go add new model and we're gonna create it. Once we create it, we are going to go to binding and we're going to click on binding. Okay, now we are going to turn on the vehicle with the binding button press on the uh, receiver. Okay, and it's going to go into bind mode. So let's turn it on. It's blinking orange, so it's in bind mode. We're going to click bind on the transmitter. You found it, so it's communicating right now. There it goes. So now to calibrate the receiver, it's very simple. Uh, first is full throttle, release, full brake, release, full right, release, full left, re released. There it goes. So now it's bind and calibrated. Uh, let's turn it off. And we are done uh, binding the receiver to the transmitter and also calibrating the receiver. Now we are going to calibrate the ESC. And it's uh, very similar. I'm gonna hold the set button. I'm gonna turn it on. Once it starts flashing red, I'm gonna release the set button. Turn it on. There it goes, flashing red, let it go. So the first thing we're gonna calibrate is the neutral, and we just hit the set button once. Neutral's calibrated. Now we're gonna go full throttle, press the set button once. There it goes. Now full reverse, set button, we took it. Now it's gonna cycle and it's gonna turn on. Now that it's on, it cycled. We're gonna turn it off, okay? Now we're gonna turn it back on and we are going to set up the, the handbrake. So let's turn it on. To set up the handbrake, we are going to go, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into channel assignment. And on the channel assignment, we're gonna to go to channel channel three, which that's where we connected the, the handbrake. So we're on channel three. And the input that we're gonna use is, I'm gonna set it up on H. On, I'm gonna set it up on letter H. And it's a push button. And what I wanna do is when I push it, activate. When I release, deactivate. So let's, let's look for H. There it goes. So now it's on H. Now, momentarily it's inhabited, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate it. What that does, and I hope that you can see that there, is when I press it, it engages, and when I release, disengages. And that's the easiest way, and it's not a flip switch. It's on, off, on, off, okay? So now that that's set, I wanna adjust the travel. So we're gonna go into travel, and I'm gonna go to uh, channel three, okay, which is here. I'm going to press the button. Now you see that the brake is activated. And I'm going to uh, bring down the torque that it uses to engage. So I'm gonna put it around 40. We don't need 100% to work efficiently. So there it goes, on, off. And you can see that the housing is not flexing as much 
uh, and it's still activating the, the brake everything's working just fine so we're done setting up the uh, the handbrake we're going to exit there and now the last thing that we're going to do is the telemetry so we're going to go into telemetry okay and we are going to go into settings and we're going to let it um, display we're going to do as a roller meaning that you can go page by page uh, units we're going to do us and then we're going to auto configure it so the system is going to check what uh, what kind of information it can give us from the telemetry based on uh, the equipment that we have so this is all the things that are going to display that it can like rpm speed g force mark uh, esc gyroscope now we're going to go it also does rx rf quality we're going to go into rpm and speed okay and now display active rpm pulse i want to go where it says speed we're going to go there this is the rollout okay um i i configure the rollout uh with uh, gps and i uh, i match the gps to the rollout so you know this the speed matches okay so i'm going to tune it down uh, to about there but this is not this is not the correct number for this car like i said i will configure it with the gps and then on display i, I don't want it to i want it to display the speed so we switch it to to speed and now we're going to back off of it um, i'm going to roll to the through the pages you know like the voltage motor temperature etc and here you can see speed and if i accelerate the car you can see the speed run. and i'm going to release so and we can go through the pages and you can see the receiver the battery on the receiver 7.3 the rf quality uh, the g-force telemetry esc status smart and the main page so basically guys that's uh that's all the setup that i need to do to the car i appreciate you guys watching thank you guys for subscribing to the channel and i'll see you on the next video